Video 12 is the color sample pod. This color sample pod often gets overlooked by new people using Art Rage. They usually just paint and do their colors, but this is really an efficient little pod. Now I'm going to click on it to open it, and you'll see it's completely blank. That's how it should be. The grip can be moved down or up. And what's neat about this is when you're painting and you've liked the color, well, you can add it. Let's go into File and let's open a painting. And let's say we do Sunrise. I haven't particularly saved any samples. So if I wanted to use this on another painting, I couldn't. But there is a way to. If while you're painting, you go through and add. So what I'm going to do is take the color sampler, sample a few things, and add it. All I'm doing is pointing to different places and adding the color samples. Then, all I would need to do is if I want to use this in another painting for a sunset or a sunrise, I could simply go into here, into the menu, and export my local color samples. So if I click on this, I can give it a new name, this like sunrise or sunset, and because I'm in the folder where Art Rage puts it in, I'll know I'll always have it available to me. So all I'm going to do is click Save, and it'll be saved in my folder. Now we can also, if we change colors down here, say we want to change, we can also go into here and we can add a global color sample. And because I had it changed, we now have a purple one. Or I can add it to the local color sample. And it'll come in here. Next, I can append or import a new global color sample set. So let's import a new one. Let's just do like tear colors. And then instead of what I had, it's now got skin colors. So I've imported. Now I'm going to append this. And that means add to it. So I'm going to click on this. And let's say I want to add this skin tone for it. So I've added a bunch of skin tones that I could use. And then I can just export the color samples if I wanted to with a new name. Now I can import new local color sample set. And that's the same thing. It'll go to this folder. Then if I wanted to export the global color sample, I could export it. And say I've made a new folder and I want these colors in here. Then I could just make this skin tones and click Save. You can clear it really easy here by just doing clear global color samples and they're cleared. Or if you don't like one on here, you can right click it and just remove a sample. You will also can clear the local color samples and get rid of them. This is so handy when you're painting. You, If you remember, and it takes a little getting used to, to when you find a color you like in your painting, add it. 
So that way, when you go to another section, you can come back and go to this without having to get the color sampler and finding out what color you used. Now, you can show sample with names or show samples without names. Let's go back in and uh, import a new global color. Let's go back up to colors. And let's do sunrise again. so that I can show samples with names. As you know, I didn't name them. So all I have to do is right click on it, set sample name, and I can say light skin or light tan. And click out and it's got a name this one I can also set a name it's up to you whether you want to set names or not if you go into here and show samples without names to me this way is easier I like without names that way I can just pick the colors I want others would like it all listed out and that's a valuable choice so you can sort your global samples by name if you've given it by hue. And we're going to sort the locals by name. Locals say by red value and by blue value. So you have your choices of how you sort or put them into your color sampler. Now, like I said, beginning painters don't usually do this, but you're going to become much more efficient if you put your colors into the local sample and save it. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the layers palette.